welcome to everybody who's on the call. Um, just before we start here, those people who've got their cameras on at the moment, if you can just give me a thumbs up that you can see me and you can hear me okay. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Hey, Lena, great to see you on here. Hey, Marlon, great to see you on here. I saw you a couple of seconds ago, Marlon. There was a San Francisco bridge behind you. I was like, wow, look at this. Looks fun, hey? Uh, Manal, great to see you on here. Sanya, great to see you on here. Elma, hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, Ali. Che Wong, great to see you. We got Bhutan in the house. Wendy, um, if I could just get everyone to just pop in the chat box below, just say hello and just say where you're tuning in from. So then we can just get to know who we've got on the call, where everybody is tuning in from. We got Lena saying hello from London. Cool. We got Sanya saying hello from London. We got Brunei. We got London, London, Newry, Ireland. Oh, really? We got, we got someone from Newry, Ireland. That's where I'm from, but I'm not there right now. Um, we got Spain. We got Bhutan. Nice. London town. Birmingham. Cool. Amazing. Fantastic. That's great. Keep popping it in the comment section below there because we're going to utilize this chat because we've a, a, we've a few speakers who are going to be coming on here today and they will ask some questions from you and it will require your interaction. So if we can please utilize the chat, that would be absolutely amazing. Hi, I'm in London, isolated from my family to continue doing the home shopping with peace of mind. Jason, tuning in from France. Hello from Stevenage. Oh, that's just down the road, not too far. Um, so if I could ask, and I know this is a big ask, especially if you're not used to these type of things at all whatsoever, is firstly, for everybody who's got their camera turned on, thank you so much for showing your face and showing your big smile in times like this right now. Uh, in fact, give us all a big smile right now. Come on, you can do bigger than that. Yeah, there we go. Let's keep the vibes high. Um, for anybody who doesn't have their camera turned on at the moment, if you would feel comfortable. And if you are someone who likes to take yourself out of your comfort zone and you would like to play Fallout throughout this, this time that we have here with you, I would ask you to just go ahead and on, uh, just turn your camera on so that we can see and that we can interact with you because the energy of your speakers here today will be a direct reflection of all of you on here today. So if you do, okay, I see a few more cameras turning on. You guys are great. If you guys can turn your camera on, put your phone up right and give us your full attention for the beginning of this presentation to the very end, that would be greatly appreciated, right? Um, and if you are taking any notes at all whatsoever, I want you to write this thing down here is how you do anything is how you do everything, okay? So how you show up here today on this call with your attention span, with how you are gonna project yourself, with how you're gonna show your interaction and you're gonna play along with us all here today is gonna to be a direct reflection of how you do absolutely everything in your life, right? And just before I go ahead and bring out our first speaker and we get this presentation rocking and rolling for you, I just wanna take this opportunity to say thank you all so much for dedicating your time, your effort, your energy to showing up here today to learning, to growing, whether you've been invited by someone, um, whether you've been invited by someone or the reason why you are here, I want you to just give yourself some credit right now because we've had so many people register for these and we've so many people say, yes, I'll be on there. But we always know it's not the case that everybody makes it on here. And you guys have taken the time, the effort, the energy out of your day, whatever it is that you've been planning to do with your family, your friends, your loved ones. I believe we're all at home anyway, or the majority of us should be. <laughs> so you guys have taken your time out to spend it with us here this morning. So uh, we got Kira from Ireland as well. Wow, we got a lot of Irish people in here. My gosh, I'm so proud. It's amazing, right? Uh, we have um, a very, very, very exciting call coming up here for you. But if I can just take this moment to introduce myself to let you guys know why it is that you've got this Irish pirate on here talking to you, where I've even came from or what gives me the right to be speaking to you all. Um, I met Anthony. I think the majority of you know Anthony on here. Does a lot of you know Anthony? Anthony's given us a wave there. Yeah. Um, I connected with Anthony about two and a half years ago. <clears throat> and whenever I saw this business, I knew that it was just something that I wanted to pursue and that I wanted to project into the world. And I knew it was something that was going to change my life and my family's lives and teams all around the world. Now, whenever you see what I was presented here today, 
you're going to see that. And some of you are going to be like, oh, wow, this is crazy. I can't believe this. And I'm very excited for this. Um, and I encourage you at this moment in time is to grab yourself some water or grab yourself a tea right now. Take a notepad, a pen and a piece of paper because you will have questions. OK, so get yourself ready and get yourself prepared to give your full commitment from the beginning of this call right to the very end. And fast forward later, two, two years into, two and a half years into running this business, I've been able to completely change my lifestyle from working as a full-time retail manager at TK Maxx to now just traveling the world, well, traveling whenever we're out of isolation, <laughs> to meet my teams all around the world, to present this presentation that you're going to see here today um, to many individuals all over the world and to change people's health, to bring awareness and to bring the education to people that they do not know because you don't know what you don't know. And I want you to write that down as well today is that you don't know what you don't know. So it's very important that throughout this presentation, every single one of you keep your mind open, right? And I know this is gonna be a little bit uncomfortable for some of you right now, but I want you to do this with me. Put your hands on your head. Everybody, let's do it together, okay? My mind is open, okay? Do it again, my mind is open. Okay. And some of you are probably sitting there going, what is he talking about? Let's just get down to it. We've ran these presentations way too many times before. And some of you are grinning on your face right now being like, am I actually doing this? What is he getting me to do? But this is all subconscious reprogramming for each and every single one of you. And let me tell you something, the people that keep their mind open from the beginning right to the very end is the people that will go far. And that's just like anything in life as well. If you keep your mind open and you keep your mind consistent and you keep your mind where it needs to be, you will see results and you will see growth in your life. Clear so far? Thumbs up? Okay. Are we all excited? Give us a big smile. Come on, guys. I know we're in isolation, but we can have a big smile. Okay. Here we go. Fantastic. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass it over to a business partner of mine. We're going to pass it over to John. You'll be able to see John in the comment section here, our, our, his screen there. He's the guy in the white shirt. John, give us a big wave right? John is, is similar to myself and like Anthony that you're going to be speaking and you're going to be meeting here today. John has been traveling all around the world, uh, spreading this message of health, wealth, and community uh, with a global team. And we are a global company um, and we have been able to reach a lot of people with this and we are continuing to do so more than ever before. And especially in times like this, it's very funny. A lot of people think, oh, a lot of businesses have become stagnant at this time in isolation. It's actually been the opposite for us. It's because of what you're going to see here today, you're going to see why. And I don't want to talk too much more because I want John and the demo and the presentation to be able to do that for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say thank you all so much. Remember, keep mind open. Stay consistent with us from the beginning right to the very end. And John, I'm going to pass it over to you. We'll get you unmuted and we will start the presentation. Thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you all enjoy. Hear me? Okay. Everybody can hear me? Yep, all clear. Good to go. All right, brilliant. So thank you, Liam, for the introduction. And uh, yeah, welcome to, to today with our live demo on Zoom. Seems to be the platform of the uh, of the month and probably going to be the platform of the next few months so we're obviously utilizing this space because you know our product we can show it online we can show it offline anywhere so the power of this demo which you're going to be seeing shortly you know it it has to be seen in its entirety so i'm asking if you've logged in today um this should take about only 40 minutes for this demo so please stick through the whole demo because you'll get great clarity as to what our product is all about and to show you about all the other products that are on the market currently. So Liam did introduce me. I just wanted to have a quick uh, recap. I'm John Cox. I'm originally from South Africa. I've been living in the UK for 22 years now. And um, I, have, I have my own business and I've been currently involved with Enagic uh, for the last two years now. And like Liam says, you know, I've traveled all over the world. We've got teams out in China in India and Ghana, West Africa, South Africa. So it's truly international. And um, the amazing thing was um, when I was introduced to this technology, I come from a chemical background, a production background. I scrutinized this product to the nth degree because I wanted to find out where was the missing link. 
how could it be so potent and so real? So I scrutinized this product and I used it and used it and I couldn't find any loopholes. There was no missing link to this. It, it was exactly as you see it. So I drank the water and I got some amazing benefits and I just continued to, to drink the water. And you know, today, my, my family, my kids, my wife, even my dog, we're all enjoying this water, even our pot plants. So you know, there's tons of uses for this water as well. So without further ado, let's just get started with the demo. So first of all, we've got to understand of our body, right? About what the percentage of water is in our bodies. And you know, they're saying our human body is over 70% water. So, you know, when we hear these people talking about alkalizing and alkalizing in foods and all that, we forget that the biggest part of our body is actually liquid, it's actually water. So people don't really concentrate too much about the quality of the water and what type of water we should be drinking. So to break it down, you know, our brains have got over 80% water, our blood is over 90% water. So this is all flowing through, even into your bones. You know, and this, this um, deteriorates throughout, you know, as we get older and older, become more and more dehydrated. So when we're born, we're actually born very alkaline in, in our mother's womb. We're, we're, we're in an alkaline um, liquid, you know. So when we're born, we're born as alkaline. And then, you know, with young babies while they're feeding, they don't need to be alkalized. So as the, as the baby starts growing older and starts actually eating, solid foods and starts eating all the foods that we're, we're eating currently, the body then slowly starts becoming more and more acidic. So to give you an, an idea of how this technology all came about, we have these areas called blue zones around the world. And these are very powerful areas. And there was actually a book written, The Blue Zones, and this is the first one of many that's been um, written by uh, Dan Buettner. And basically, in his book, he's identified these certain blue zones, the Teleco uh, in Mexico, you've got the Nords in France, and you've got the Zamzam in Mecca. Now, probably out of these, you know, you've got the Zamzam, which is very, very popular. You know, we've even got another one in Pakistan, the Hanza, the Hanza Valley. Now, what is so special about these blue zones? Well, these guys, the, the scientists wanted to find out what is so special about the, the, the lifestyle of the people that live in these areas because they've got this natural spring mineral water that's coming out that they're drinking and also they have this different um, uh, food that they're eating as well. But what they found is that these people are living to 120, 140 sometimes years old back in the day. So, you know, on average now they're living to about 100. So this water has a lot and lots of special properties. And when the, I think it was the Russians, the Koreans, the Japanese, they all traveled to these different blue zones around the world. And they actually tested the water to try and find out what is it in the water that makes this water different to water in other parts of the world. And they found two distinctive uh, properties. Number one was the water had a very high level of active hydrogen in the water. And number two, the water was very alkaline it was a lot more alkaline. So it was coming up to around about over the pH of eight. Okay. So as you can see in this next slide, you know, here in the UAE, when people are traveling to Zam Zam, they're actually bringing this water back. It's very, very powerful water because they believe it to be a miracle water. It has very special properties that can do a lot of healing. So, you know, they bring this back and they share it with friends and family. Now, it's very, very, very expensive for this kind of water to be bringing it back if you can get it out of the country as well. So what did the Japanese do? After they had all this information, they went back to Japan and they started trying to work on a, on a, on a machine, on a sort of like technology level of how they can mimic this, um, um, these properties in water. And in the 1970s, they, they discovered this revolutionary way um, how they can actually use this through electrolysis. So passing water over plates, which are then highly charged, high wattage, high amperage, and actually splits the water molecule. So they went back to the laboratory and they started building these, um, but they were very big industrial units in the beginning. And these were used in hospitals throughout Japan. So let's just have a recap and just see who is this company in Egypt. Well, they're a 45-year-old company which is a rock, rock, rock solid company. 
Um, you know, they've, they've just celebrated a couple of months ago their, their 45 year celebration. And, you know, in the Japanese culture, they're, they're not looking forward to the 46th year or 47th or the 5th. They're looking forward to the next 50 years. This is how they plan. So, you know, when you've got like, you know, Japanese cars, you know, they're all very reliable. They last forever and ever and ever. So this magic company is like that. They will just keep going. So in the 1987 the Ministry of Health, Labor, Welfare, it's similar to the Japanese version of the FDA. They basically certified Enagic's water ionizers as a medical device, right? So we're not just talking about a water filter or an alkaline machine. We're actually classing this as a medical device. So we also call them an OEM manufacturing site, which basically means original equipment manufacturer. So when you're buying your product, you're actually buying it direct from the factory who produce it. And every single part that is produced in these machines is made within the Enagic factory. No, nothing is brought out from the third party, like they source the cartons from another company in China or Korea. They actually produce every single part in their factory. And they need this. They need this control for, to, to get their ISO ratings, which we'll come on to a little bit later. Long lifespan of these machines. You know, these machines are, are you know, you only buy one in your life. You know, these are, they last 20 plus years. We've got some machines in Scotland, up in north of England. They, they're lasting over 23 years currently, you know. So looked after correctly, these will last your lifetime. Also, it's the only machine, the only water ionizer in the world that is endorsed by the American Cancer Institute, right? And the Gerson's treatment of Dr. Hiromi Shinya. And global monthly sales of 15,000 units per month and over 500 million annual turnover. So you can see this company, it's not just a company that's been around for one or two years, you know, that our figures are very low. You know, other, other companies that are, you know, competitive, you know, towards us, they, they're, they've only game for a couple of years and their figures are very, very low. So you can see long-term um, successful business, it means that it just keeps growing. And again, like I say, we've opened up now 40 offices, right, in 23 countries around the world. The last ones which opened was Dubai and London is coming soon. So, you know, there's, there's once, um, once all this, uh, you know, coronavirus, everything settles down, you know, we'll be looking forward to um, a premises somewhere in London and Enagic will be then opening up their shop in London too. So, Enagic have never ever closed any one of their offices around the world. So to give you a, a, an idea of how rock solid they are, when they open a, a, a shop in a country, it's there to stay. So that's just a, a brief rundown of Enagic and who they are. And also why I feel very satisfied to be working with a company like that. So as I said, there's about 40 offices and you can see, you know, we've got Australia, there's loads. In Asia over here, um, up in Europe, North America, and down in Brazil, South America as well. So any one of these places, any one of these offices would be your office. So even if, say, I have an magic machine and I'm going on a holiday, I'm flying from Germany, I'm flying over to Mexico, but I haven't been able to take my machine with, I could just pop into that magic store and go and get free water while I'm on holiday. Or if I'm flying down to Australia, I've got off the airplane, I've got severe jet lag, I'll just pop down to the... Australia office and pick up some free Canyon water. So again, these are all our offices all around the world and they have meeting rooms, everything for us to use. So that's great. That's, that's, you know, that's the infrastructure of Enagic that they put down for us as distributors. So the uh, certification and awards, there are so many different awards, right? And all of these, you, if you want to have a look at them individually, you can. They're on the Enagic.com website. So you can go and have a look and they're regularly updated because they have to be, they have to be renewed. But very important, you know, these two here, they're in Japanese, but they're basically proof of the product recognition from um, a, an association in Japan, which is the Japanese Association of Preventative Medicine for Adult Diseases. Now this is for, Japan's got one of the, the oldest aging populations. So they've certified this and endorsed this um, to be the water to be giving this aging population. So it's, it's very much backed up um, with, 
with its um, success rate. Now over here, very important, just to highlight some of the top ones we have here in Enagic. Enagic has got the gold standard from the Water Quality Association. Now again, this is not just we're a member, we pay a membership fee, we're actually got a gold standard, right? We have an ISO 9001 certification, which is for the um, production control. We have the ISO 14001, which is the environmental control. So, you know, they work very much sustainably and take care of the environment while they're producing. And we have the very important ISO 13485. Now this over here is a very important, this is to class in magic as a medical grade manufacturer. So this is why these machines can have this certification because we qualify for this ISO. And this has to be, all of these have to be renewed. So, you know, we're the only one in the world that has the certification. There's no other ionizer that has it. So, you know, when you're buying magic, you're buying the best. DSA, Direct Selling Association. A lot of people think that, you know, oh, this is some kind of, you know, pyramid scheme thing. Enagic's business model is run strictly by the code of ethics through the Direct Selling Association and also the Direct Selling of Europe. So, you know, everything is scrutinized, everything's controlled. So everything is legal, okay? Um, it's a direct selling model from Enagic and they are governed by this association of the DSA. So these are just the two of the copies of the two, the 13485 and the 19001. Uh, the, sorry, the 9001, these are the two ISO certificates. So now, let's jump into the presentation. So what you say now, what is the special thing about Kangen Water? What, what's the, these people raving about? How does it work inside a body? Why is it different to all these kind of other drinks? Well, I'll tell you, there's three main properties that make it different, okay? And we have the antioxidants, right? Now we all know we need to detox our body. So currently, you know, we have to take all these different kinds of drinks or supplements to detox our body, right? So the first and one of the very important ones of this water is the antioxidant. Then we have the alkalinity of the water, and then we have something called a microclustrin. Now we're gonna go through all of these three and I will demonstrate to you how they all look and how they work within our body. So if we start off with oxidation, we should know what oxidation is. This is what's happening to us on a daily basis. You know, mobile phone radiation, you know, all sorts of things nowadays, you know, coming into our bodies through pollution, through the air, um, you know, if people are smoking or drinking, or even the food we're eating. This is leaving, you know, um, causing free radicals in our body because our body, if we're not detoxing, it's just causing an abundance of these free radical cells. Now, it's similar to an apple. You cut an apple open, you leave it out, and it will start turning brown. This is the oxidation effect, okay? And this is what's happening in our bodies. Now, this is, can cause premature aging and many other kinds of illnesses. So when we have this antioxidant, it's reversing or not reversing, it's slowing down the process of this aging that's happening in our body. And it's canceling out these free radical cells. It's fighting them and changing them back to healthy cells. So then how do we show this? How do we show you how this works? Firstly, we have this chart and it's called a um, oxidation reduction potential chart. And you can see in the middle here, it's a zero. And this way it goes plus, and this way it's minus. Now these are negative figures, okay? So what we do is we have this machine here, which we call the pinpoint or an ORP, oxidation reduction potential meter. This measures in millivolts, okay? And it can measure different fruits or liquids or foods and tell us what the ox uh, antioxidant potential is within that substance, right? So anything with a plus figure means that it's dead. There's no um, antioxidants within that substance and it's not actually adding to the detox of our body. But it's um, detoxing within our body. So we know things like vitamin C, cod liver oil, green tea, all these kinds of things have negative values because they, they're a detox for our body. They're helping our body detox. So just to move on, what we're going to do is we're going to test a few. Now, this is a uh, tonic water. Now, usually, we would use um, Sprite, but surprise, surprise, there's no Sprite in the shops anymore. So that tells you, number one, <laughs> there's a lot of people going out to buy Sprite, um, and there's a lot of bottled water left. So 
I think people's choices these days are a little worrying. But anyway, we can use tonic water. We've got smart water. This one was Pellegrino. So this is a, a sparkling water as well. Very popular one here in the UK. Then we have smart water, which is still. Now again, we speak to a lot of people and they say they drink smart water because it is one of the most popular waters on the market currently, but again, it's quite pricey. Here we have a Highland Spring. This is from the water from the Highlands. And here we have tap water, regular tap water. And the last one we have our Kanga 9.5. So this is the 9.5 water that we drink on a daily basis. So this is what we're consuming all day, every day. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this pinpoint meter in. Now I might just come forward so I can show you what the different amounts are. So firstly, we're going to start with the Indian tonic water. And if you can see there, can you guys see this okay, the figures? That's a 360, plus 360 on that one, okay? So now we're going to move on to the Pellegrino. And the Pellegrino is giving us 340 on that one. Now we're going to move on to Smart Water. It's come down. It's come down to about 300, 305, 304. Still coming down slowly. So a little bit better than the, the two sparkling. Now we've got the Highland Spring, which is coming up even lower at about 270. 270, yeah. And now we're moving on to the tap water, which is 290, about 290, 300, somewhere around there. And you can see, so these, all these so far, have all been on this side of the, of the chart. And now what we do is we pop it into our Kangen water, and we're seeing a figure of minus 490, 480, 490, minus. So there's a negative in front. And you know, we could pop it back, into, into the Indian tonic water and it's back up to 390. So you can see out of all of these drinks, okay, all of these up to here, they were all in this range, except for the Kangen. Now what the Japanese refer to these waters is, take a guess, they dead water. <laughs> this is what they say, this is dead water. So we're drinking this, but it's having no detox potential, right? So this is the first property of Kangen water. So just to just to give you an idea, this is Mr. Oshiro, this is the CEO of Enagic, and this is the USA business advisor of Enagic. Now this photo was taken in 2009, and uh, Mr. Shiro, he's just celebrated his birthday in March. So just to give an idea, he's been drinking this Kangen water for more than half of his lifetime, right? And if you get, had to guess their age, I mean, I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but Mr. Yashiro has just turned 79, right? And he is the same age. So you can see what it's doing, you know? It's really slowing down this, this uh, free radical damage that's happening um, in our body. So Mr. Yashiro, he's still in the golf course, you know, swinging every other week in Japan. He's very active, and that's through drinking the Kangen water. So we've got Dr. Otto Heinrich Warburg. What did he do? He basically, in the 1923, he, he found, he said he found, he studied these um, cancer, cancer tumors. And um, he was a Nobel Prize winner as well in physi physiology. But what he mainly found in cancerous tumors, he studied many different kinds of tumors. But when he studied the cancerous, he found two properties in all the tumors. So he found that there was acidic, they were all acidic, and they were also hypoxic. Hypoxic meaning that there was no oxygen in these tumors. It was in a very acidic state and hypoxic. So, you know, he found out that cancerous tissues are all acidic, but healthy tissue is all alkaline. So this is even more important about, you know, why people are preaching to us to, to try and stick to an alkaline diet to keep our body regulated so it doesn't become too acidic. Because once it becomes too acidic, it's like fuel to the fire for all these diseases that are manifesting themselves. 
So now we come on to the second property, right? Which is the pH of the water. Now, just to give you an idea, a lot of people confuse our machines and the magic and the can of water with alkaline water. Now, you know, alkaline water is only one of the properties of our water. We have three. So when people compare our water to alkaline water, I say, well, it's not the same thing because it isn't. Alkaline water is done with a chemical change and you can buy them in bottles like this in the shop, you know, active pH, pH 9. But this is done through adding bicarb uh, sodium bicarbonate to the, to the water. And that's a chemical change. And long-term use of this, drinking this, is no good for your body. So, you know, our water is done with a natural change. Sorry, to reach the pH. So what we do is to see the pH of different liquids. We use this little bottle, magic bottle over here. And this is just pH drops, right? And this is the same as if you're going to, say, your um, doctor, your GP, and you want to find out the pH of your body, they would give you maybe a piece of litmus paper and check the pH. This is just drop format. So what we're going to do is put a couple of drops in each of these liquids and just see what pH they are. So our first water is the tonic water. So the reason why I wore a nice white shirt today is so you can get a good visibility on the color. So where do we see that this is out today? It's here. It's very, very, very acidic. This is coming up at about 4.5 in the pH scale, right? So again, long-term consumption of that constantly is, is, is not going to give us a good, uh, good pH state. Here we have the uh, sparkling Pellegrino, and again, it's a pH of five, so again, very acidic. Now we've got smart water. Color's slightly different. It's sort of edging on towards a pH of about seven. It wants to become slightly neutral. But here we've got Highland Spring. Wow, now you gotta think, this is much better to drink, isn't it, on an alkaline scale, because it's, it's sort of coming in at about, around about eight. But the thing with bottled water is we know that these bottled waters, they're about 18 to 24 months old by the time we consume these. They've been sitting out in the sun, on airport runways, wherever they've been. But the most important thing is also these are not BPA-free plastic. They're petrochemical plastic. So what's happening is when these are exposed to sunlight or heat, the plastic molecules start moving around and they start leaching into the water. This is causing microplastics to be inside the water. So this is one, this is the health concern, but also we've got the other side is where they end up. They just end up in our oceans. So again, it might be a little bit better on the alkaline side, but we know it's still dead water. Then we've got tap water. Now tap water again is always around the same. It's always just, just, just slightly alkaline. And the reason for this is, is that there's no corrosion. If our tap water was very acidic, there'd be a lot of corrosion throughout the, um, the pipes and you know the, the water treatment plants. So this is very much controlled by the government. And this is the same all over the world. We've tested this in India, everywhere, China, and it's all the same, it's all that same color. And then we have our Kangen water. And you can see this, where are we? We're at 9.5. This is what we're drinking. This is the alkalinity that we're drinking, okay? So you can see the big difference between the alkalinities of all these different kinds of drinks. But if we had to now start drinking candid water and we're drinking regular tap water, you know, we would start to alkalize our bodies. You know, we would start to get them back to an alkaline state. Even if we're consuming smart water, you know, we would get it back to a good state. Pellegrino, keep an eye on this one very closely. Did you see, try to, to try to change? These are very, very, very acidic. And even the tonic, you can keep pouring the tonic, keep pouring, keep pouring. And the same is with Diet Coke, lemonade, Sprite, all these soft drinks on the market, they're all the same. The ratio is about 33 to one to neutralize these kind of drinks, these carbonated sugary drinks. So again, these, 
we tend to try and really stay away from. And just to give you an idea how acidic these are, we just take a capful of this into this drink and it will turn it straight back to acidic. That's how acidic these are. So you can see they all change back. So this is the second property of the Kangen water, okay, is the pH. Now, if you just give me one second, I'm just going to empty these out and just set up for the third one. Okay, so that was the second property. And again, you know, just to recap, acidic environment. You know, if our bodies are too acidic, we, we're seeing a lot of things with gout, you know, premature aging, fatigue, high blood pressure, all these kind of uh, degenerative diseases. A lot, of, a lot of scientists are saying, oh, you know, the result of our body and our diets being too acidic, okay? Um, again, this is the recap of many different eczema, psoriasis, you know, um, blood pressure, allergies, acid reflux. A lot of these are due to our bodies being very highly acidic. So moving on to the third property. This one is called microclustering. Now you might be thinking, what is microclustering? Well, it's just the name that's been given to the restructuring of the water. Because normal water molecules, when they came out, the H2O, when it comes out your tap, they typically, cluster in about 15 to 20 molecules. So the water molecules and the structure of the water is actually quite big, but also quite a, a messy structure. So it's not easily absorbed by our bodies. But once the water is then passed through the canning machine, what it actually does is it creates smaller clusters of water. So when you're drinking it, the water feels a lot lighter, a lot smoother, a lot lighter in the stomach because it's been able to absorb through your, you know, while you're swallowing it, while it's entering your stomach, it's all being absorbed because it's so much smaller and the structure of the water is a lot more organized. So this is why it's, it's very important, you know, when you're drinking canned water, it also helps to carry nutrients to the places where it needs to be a lot more effectively. It's not just about, you know, where the water goes. So when you're drinking um, uh, canned water, you, you know, you can drink a lot of it and it doesn't swish around your stomach for too long. It, it disappears very quickly. So again, very popular with sports people, you know, people that are, you know, need to get quick hydration back on the field, that kind of thing. So we've got this guy here, Peter Agra. Again, he was a, a Nobel Prize winner um, back in the 2003. And what he studied were these little channels. Now in our body, we have about 37, 70,000 or 70 trillion cells. And each cell is, is the powerhouse for our bodies, right? This is what powers us. This is what gives us the energy. So if your cells are all toxic, they're all dirty, they're full of toxins, this is when you start feeling brain fog, fatigue, tired all the time, your concentration. So what, what, he, what he studied were the actual channels inside your cell wall, and these are called acuporin channels. Now he studied the size of these channels, particularly to see what size they are, and how do they expel the toxins, and how do they get flushed out. And basically we found is that the big water, the clustering 15 to 20, cannot enter these channels, but the five to six can. And you know, we have, to, we have ways to prove this is because, number one, when you start drinking canyon water, the first thing you'll notice is increase of energy. And this basically means is that your cells are being cleaned out and flushed from toxins because it's giving you that superior hydration. You're not just hydrating your body at an organ level, you're hydrating your body at a cellular level, intracellular level. So, so this is very, very important um, that the water and the hydration that you're giving your body gets to your cells. Because you know, sometimes we think that you know, we are hydrated, but at a cellular level, we're probably dehydrated. So again, we could demonstrate this. And to do that is we need a green tea bag, okay? I have a, 
uh, green tea bag and I'm going to pop that in the first cup. Now, this is going to show you the difference in the size of the water and how quickly it penetrates things to clean it or pull out or, you know, embody something and, and, and you know, intensify it. So what we usually use to make tea is hot water. Um, so today what we're using is we both of these are just room temperature water and we're first going to start off with our tap water. Now when we put our tap water into the tea bag you can see we don't get any tea and that was almost expected because we know we need hot water. But now when we move the tea bag over to the second glass and we pour in our kangen water you can see straight away we're getting the green tea. Now now this is because you know this water is able to go into the tea, penetrate the tea, and pull out the the flavour of the tea, right? So, do you think that's quite visible? It's quite amazing. But now we do have a lot of skeptics, obviously, to say, well, hey, that tea bag was wet, so that's why I made the green tea. So what we do is we will try it again. Okay, put it in that glass again, and we'll pour in our tap water. And just to show it to you, that is not making green tea. And what we'll do is we'll take that out, put it into that cup, and straight away we have green tea again. So again, it's not because the tea bag was wet, it's because of the size of the water. The water is smaller. The water can penetrate. And this is amazing because I'll show you something else. Let me just give these uh, when we when we take a bit of stock, let's put a few drops in there and a few drops in there. Imagine that this is our stock for a restaurant. There's only a few drops in each of these. Imagine that's the stock in a restaurant. Now, this is why a lot of a lot of Michelin star restaurants now also purchasing these machines because they have to use less spice, but to get a same flavor or a bold flavor. What we usually do is when we're trying to make food or a stock, we'll put tap water in and that would dilute the solution. That would dilute it, okay? But if we're using the Kangen water, it's gonna, in emulsify, it's gonna, um, not emulsify, <laughs> it's gonna enhance it, sorry, that's the word, enhance it. So that's enhancing it. So they only have to use less spice with the Kangen water and they're going to get the same flavor. So again, money saving, you know, in the in the restaurant industry. But like I say, there's a lot of a lot of places that are using it, you know, for hydration. You've got the Bulgari, Bulgari Hotel in central London. They're using this in their in their gyms. So so very, very, very powerful. So this is the micro clustering, which is the third property of Kangen water. So again, if I just empty these out quickly. Okay, so I hope everybody's still with me and um, we're not moving too fast. But let's move on. So again, superior hydration, toxin elimination. Amazing. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly watch this uh, two minute, one minute video. And to, this is just to show you how quickly this water works within your body and in, particularly in your blood. Um, so this will give you a good idea of how quickly this water can actually penetrate your bloodstream. So just watch this and um, I'll be back after this. Let us see how this type of water affects human blood. The doctor is drawing blood from a patient's finger. Using a special microscope, we shall be able to see the condition of her body from this drop. These are red blood cells and they've lost their electrical charge. So they're all stuck together in a formation called a rouleau. There's a huge symplast. Symplasts are associated with heart disease. 
and uh, arthritis and lung disease and many other conditions that could be coming in the future. The doctor asks the patient to drink a small amount of structured water. After 12 minutes, the doctor again draws blood from the patient and studies it. So you can see that the cells then become buoyant, they become slippery, and they have their electrical charge, so they repel each other. That allows them to carry oxygen, and it means that we're changing the pH of the blood back to an aerobic environment rather than an anaerobic environment. I think that's utterly amazing. That, that a water could, that just drinking water could do that. So yeah, as you can see there, just 10 to 12 minutes, that's all it takes for this water, you know, once we've drunk it, to penetrate um, our blood and to get things moving again. So, you know, all these, all these scientific tests that have been done on the water proves that, you know, that this is doing, it is working, it is, it is truly working. And you know, there's not many other products out in the market especially in the water industry, where you can actually showcase the power of the water. So now we're going to move on. Because now, up till now, we've only covered the drinking water. Now the machines have three settings of drinking water, 8.5, 9, 9.5. And this is just a step up, so your body can detox at a comfortable pace. Because you don't want to jump straight to 9.5 and start getting a bit of headaches because your body's detoxing too quick. So we have different settings, so it can make it more comfortable. But we have five different kinds of water in this machine, not just drinking water. And this, again, is what sets the energetic systems, apart from a lot of other you know, ionizers on the market, is that we have five different kinds of water. Now we're going to cover this one, which is a strong 11.5 pH water. Now, if you think of a pH scale, it runs from 0 to 14. So we're looking at 11.5, so it's very, very alkaline. Now how we do this is basically what do we use this for emulsifying oil cleaning fruits and vegetables now we have these little you know uh, bottles and you can buy your own and we run these and you can keep them under your sink or wherever in your kitchen because they last quite a few months you know um you don't have to run it fresh every day and this is 11.5 so you know we have a selection of these in the cupboard when you do your fruit and vegetable shopping you just give everything a wash and pack it away in the fridge and you know everything that's in the fridge is clean. So just to demonstrate here, what we're going to do is, today we're going to clean some tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes on the vine. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take these off and put a few of these in here. Now, when we ask most people how do you wash your fruit and veg, we get a bit of a mixture of answers because some people say they just wash it under the tap. Some people say they buy a special spray to break things down. Some people say they don't, they don't bother washing their fruit and veg. Now, you know, there's a lot of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, all these different kind of, even suicides, <laughs> sprayed on our fruit and vegetables these days. We don't know what's on them. So, you know, just to be safe, let's take it off. You know, why, why it's consuming these things? Because today, you know, there's a big craze of people juicing and all that. And if you're throwing all these kind of things into a juicer, you're eating concentrated pesticides. So, you know, if you are juicing, just think about how you're actually washing your produce. So on this side, we're going to clean it with our 11.5. And over this side, we're going to use regular tap water. So let's fill this one up. Regular tap water. And here we're going to use our 11.5. Okay. So now we're just going to simulate a quick wash. And we do that. Okay. And same with the tap water. Okay, so we just let these stand for a bit. While they stand, we're just going to show you 
the power of the actual water. Now, over here I have some pure sesame oil. Sesame oil. Everybody knows this sesame oil we're using for stir fries. So we're going to put some in there. We're going to put some in there. So we've got two glasses with sesame oil. Now, from basic science, we all know what happens when you mix oil and water. And this is basically what's happening over there. You know, our oil and water doesn't mix. We know that from basic science. So when we're trying to wash our fruit and vegetables under the tap, it's not having a great effect. It's just running off. But when we are using the 11.5, now this is what's happening in this glass over here, is we have this effect. So if you've seen that, that looks like I've just changed that from oil to milk. And this is what happens. So here you have a full emulsifying effect. This is actually breaking down the oil, like you know, almost 100% breaking it down. Whereas with the tap water, it's not. So again, very, 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 very powerful water to have in the house. And you know, there's so many different uses for this. It's not just for cleaning your vegetables. You can use this in your washing to take stains out. Some people even I totally admit they're washing detergent and they just use 11.5. But yeah, it's, there's so many different uses for it. So let us just pour these different waters out now. And this has only just been, you know, two minutes in the water. And I think you can maybe see the difference in them. So, you know, there's a huge difference in the colors of what's come out, what's come off this. This one, there's just a bit of dirt residue. This one's actually yellow. Now, what do we think that this is on this, in this water? It's all of this kind of stuff. You know, it's all the stuff they're spraying on all of our produce to keep them bug free. You know, they're protecting them from mold and mildew, all these things that are growing on the, on the, in the greenhouses these days. Um, so they have to protect it. And they're spraying sometimes in non-organic vegetables. They've got over 100 different chemicals. And when we spoke to some farmers, we asked them, well, how often do you guys actually spray your produce? They said, well, we spray it as often as we can, as much as we can. Because if part of the, if, if they do a delivery of their produce to a certain supermarket or something, and they find uh, there's a problem, there's a bug infestation, they actually have to destroy the whole shipment. Okay, so it's a huge loss to the farmers. So they do use these kind of things to protect their crops, otherwise it'd be a huge loss for them. So this is very, very important, very powerful. And I'll just move these over for you. Now, usually what we would do if it was a live demo, but because of the current situation, we can't, we would let the people in the audience try these different tomatoes. And, you know, you'd be very, very, very surprised at the taste difference that you get. Because when we give the people the Kangen clean tomatoes, they always say to us it tastes a lot sweeter, a lot more crunchier, and it tastes like an organic or a homegrown tomato. Whereas when they taste the one cleans in tap water, it's very bitter, it leaves a residue on their palate. So there's a huge taste difference. And this, you know, we've done these demos around the world and we always get the same, same kind of feedback. So now, just to explain to you this, what this is over here, Killing Cancer Not People. This is a book that's been written by Robert Wright and he's from the American Cancer Institute, right? This guy over here. And he's written this book and it's all about food and lifestyle it covers like about nutrition and vitamins and you know all these different kinds of things in this book and it's all about how to how to deal with cancers and they've endorsed and he's got nothing to do with Enagic you know there's no affiliation between him and Enagic at all and he's done his studies with all different ionizers in the market and there's a whole chapter six in this book that they've dedicated to the power of this water so you know this is a very very powerful book um, to try and get hold of, and I, I believe they're on eBay as well. If you're looking for this book, it's a great read if you want to know more about it. So, okay, that was 11.5 pH water. Now we're going to go to another setting which is called the 2.5.
Now, how the machine basically works is it's got two outlets. We'll have an outlet at the bottom and an outlet at the top. So when the H2O, the water molecules are split, the water will, you'll have your alkaline and your acidic water. Now, while you're pouring your alkaline, the acidic water will be coming out of the bottom pipe. And this is what you'll be capturing. This is the 2.5. Now, in this climate that we're in today, it's very, very, very important because, you know, there's so many people that can't get hand sanitizers or, you know, running out of all these things to, to you know, kill all the, 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 the bacteria and sanitize their home, homes and cars and whatever they need to sanitize. So just by the push of this button, 2.5 over there, the red button, this will produce 2.5. And this is what we use to clean our, um, you know, our tables. We use this to clean and mop the floor in our steamers. We use this for anything. This is um, very, very, very strong um, sanitizer. And, you know, there's, this in fact kills bacteria and viruses, right? You can see the power of this. It's been used in the Haiti disaster where they obviously hydrated the people in the Cayman water, but they also used the Cayman Strong 2.5 to sterilize all the operating gear. Now, well, operating utensils, should I say. Now, we carry this with us, and I'm sure most of the distributors in the Atlantic do this as well. You know, this is your hand sanitizer. Within 30 seconds, you know, your, it's, it's killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria and virus. And this is so effective, you know, um, it's been tested within 30 seconds to kill all of these different organisms, you know, and it's compared against different like sodium hypochloride, and chlorine and all these other things. So it's a very, very, very potent. But it's even, not just for sanitizing your hands, if you have a, um, a sore throat, let's say you can gargle with this and spit it out, it's totally safe, there's no chemicals. You have a, a eye infection, you can spray this into your eye, it's totally safe. There's no chemicals in this, it's just uh, 2.5 pH water, which is amazing, amazing. Um, benefits to using. Even on eczema and psoriasis, if you have skin conditions, you can spray this on your skin and it will keep that um, eczema or psoriasis patch free from bacteria so it can heal. Um, so that's the 2.5. And as you can see here, you know, there's some amazing, you know, testimonials and photos people have sent in to show us, you know, this is psoriasis, what they've had. I'm not sure how clear it will be for you, but this gentleman here, he had huge psoriasis patches all over his back. And he didn't just use these products. He used he used the 8.5, 9.5, or should I say 9.5 only. He was consuming about three, three to four liters a day, but also applying the 2.5 externally. Because what happens is if your body's very acidic, you need to expel the acid out of your body. So, you know, after three months, his psoriasis was totally gone by just using the water. Okay, so now going back to this, people say, okay, well, why? What's the difference between this pH water that we that we can buy on the shelves and you know your candy water? Well, the difference is, like I said earlier, this is a chemical change. So this will stay pH for as long as it's in this bottle. It won't change because it's chemically changed. But with our water why it's so imperative to have a machine and have it fresh is because it's alive. The water is alive. It has a shelf life. So typically after 48 hours, the active hydrogen that's in the water will dissipate. It will dissipate through plastic, glass, aluminium, whatever you're keeping, it will, because hydrogen is the smallest element on the periodic table. You can't contain it. So hydrogen, that will last for, the active hydrogen will last for 48 hours. The alkalinity will wear off after about five days. Naturally, from air and pollutants, it will bring the alkalinity back down to a neutral pH after about five days. So, you know, to maximize your results, to get all three properties, you need to drink this fresh every day. Or if you're sharing water with people, you need to replenish their supply every two days. So if you have these kind of bags and you're sharing water with people, every two days, we, we suggest to pick up a, 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 a refill, just so that you're getting the benefits of all three properties. So again, just a quick note about chlorine. You know, the big thing about Enagic is that we strip out all chlorine, 99.99% of chlorine, 
out of the water because chlorine is very, very, very hazardous for our, for our health. So here we have Dr. Romishinya again. This is a world-renowned, um, he's, he's very well known for his uh, colonoscopies. He, he is the professor of endoscopy and he's used this water with treating a lot of his patients when he's done a colonoscopy and they've maybe taken out some, some tissue out of their colons for rehabilitation. He uses this water and he's got four of these different books out, you know, the enzyme factor. He's got another one the, um, over here, the rejuvenation enzyme. He's got four different books. And again, he talks about the amazing benefits and the quick recovery his patients have had when they've used this water. So just to show you, and again, I'm not sure how clear this is for you, but these are just pictures. Oh, sorry, let's just go back to that one. These are, this is a, a female that's a 45 year old female um, that had breast cancer with chronic constipation. And, you know, the, you can see the colon here is really clogged up. You know, it's got these little grooves where things are getting stuck. But after the Kangen water, you know, it's totally cleansing, cleaning out the, the, the colon. And this is another gentleman here that had prostate cancer. And you can see in his colon here, it's all the sticky substance is very dark and black. And three months of treatment uh, with Dr. Romishina, and the colon is totally cleared out. So again, very, very, very powerful, the water. So like we said earlier, you know, we're talking about plastic bottles. Again, I don't have to cover this, but we know where all the plastic bottles are ending up in the world. So, you know, by having your own BPA-free bottle and filling it up every day from the machine, you know, you're doing your bit for the environment as well. Very, very beneficial. So let's just recap on all the different waters that we've discussed. Firstly, we've done the 11.5, which we've done the tomatoes. We showed you that, which is a very strong um, um, emulsifier for oils, cleans your fruits and vegetables. We've covered the drinking water, which is the 8.5 to 9.5. The button, the, sorry, the machine also has a setting of here, pH of seven. So this is used for, there's no ionization taking place on the water. This is just a filtered pH seven water. And this is used mainly for babies in the, um, when you're mixing the formula, because babies don't need alkaline. That's just the filtered, clean, neutral water. And also, if you're taking prescription medication, this water is, is the best for taking your prescription supplements. It's okay. Um, beauty water. We've not covered this one, but this is an amazing for the woman. Currently, you're going out and buying toner, which I don't know how much it costs because um, I've not been in a shop for a while, <laughs> unlike all of us. So toner, you know, is basically the pH of your skin, 5.5. So what the machine has is it's got this beauty water setting and you know you capture this beauty water and again it's great for hydrating your skin because the water structure is smaller so it's got super penetration and you could just spray that on and it absolutely absorbs straight into your skin so you can carry this around and hydrate throughout the day especially in warm warm climate countries you know it's, it's totally amazing or you can even put it in these um, autonomizers where you can you know sort of steam your face with it and keep hydrated so yeah, there's a lot of uses for this water, but it's not just for beauty, it's good for your skin, your hair, your plants love this water as well. So there's many, many uses. And then we've got the strong 2.5, which we've covered again for disinfection, killing bacteria and viruses. So these are the five different kinds of water this machine makes. So the, you know, when you're looking at cost of the machine versus the value, I think the value that this machine gives in your household is immense, absolutely immense. So, which machine is right for you? Let's just look at the top three models quickly. We have our top of the range one, which is called the K8. Now, just to give you a rundown, this model has got eight titanium plates inside, and they're all dipped in platinum, okay? So, again, it's 99.9% .9 purity metal. It's uh, medical grade uh, materials that they have to use to get the ISO, which we discussed earlier. But again, this has got you know, it's auto on, auto off, so it uses a lot less voltage. Um, it's got eight different languages that it speaks. It's got a full LCD digital display. The cleaning function is a lot more automated than some of the other models. And the best thing of all is dual voltage. So if you're moving between different countries like the States and the UK, and there's different voltages, this one will be able to switch automatically between 110 and 240. So, you know, you can, this is a, basically a travel unit as well. 
it weighs a bit less. Um, so, you know, you can pop it into your hand luggage or your check-in luggage and you can take it with you on holiday or business. This one's starting at 4,355 euros. Then we have the other two. Now, the other two is the one is the SD501, which is seven titanium plates. Okay. Same, same plates, size and everything as the K8, but it's got one less plate. But again, this is our flagship model, the SD501, which, you know, about 85% of our sales are on these models. They're great for families, you know, it's a powerful unit. Um, you know, the clean, it's got all the five waters. Actually, all three of these models have the five waters. Um, and again, the cleaning, the cleaning process is a little bit more manual, but again, it takes about five minutes to set up. Um, and, you know, it can produce six liters per minute. So these are fast flowing um, units. And then over here, you have our junior, which is our starter model. And this is three titanium plates. So again, it's great for starter, for single people maybe, or for a couple living in a house where there's not such a great demand for the water. Um, and you can run the water a little bit slower because you can control the flow of the water totally. There's no restrictors in any of these machines. You know, the, the water will come out as fast as you want it to come out. And um, yeah, so the starter model, you have a there at 1999, and you've got the 3,308 euros on the SD501. So these are the three top, the starter, the top of the range and our flagship model. And they're all available um, from any of the Energic um, offices. So that brings me to the end of the presentation. I hope that you've uh, managed to get some clarity as to the properties of Kangen and why this is different to other waters and why there's so many people raving about this. Because what we have to also understand is this technology is very new. This has only been out since uh, 1994 as a as a residential unit as these units you see here so the technology is very new but this technology has been out for over 40 years in Japan and they've been using it in hospitals and you know they've got over six and a half thousand doctors that endorse this this water being used in the hospitals uh, not just for drinking but for the sanitizing so now I actually thought well it's time to bring this to our home and um, you know I, I can see this product being the next household appliance um, because the value that this can bring to a family, not just from the health benefits, but from cleaning, reducing of chemicals on our, in our daily usage and being safe to the environment as well. So um, I just wanted to do, say thank you for watching. Thanks, I hope that um, made sense to you. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna hear from um, a person we're gonna call on, his name is Robert. Robert is um, from Ireland and he just wanted to share a little bit about his story with um, with Enagic, you know, um, and you can just hear from what he's going to share with us um, just in a couple of minutes what you know what this can do for you, what this can, how this can change your life, you know. Um, so I'd just like to say again, thank you very much for listening.